Sup, nibbers? D Boss here. Check the bandana drip. It got my homie Yusuke on there with the squad. And today we're gonna be talking about something different from the norm of just anime and the debates and shit like that. We're gonna be talking about one of my big insecurities, which is my acne, and basically what I'm doing to fix it, which is Accutane. Now, to give you guys a quick rundown, I basically been dealing with acne since seventh grade going onward and originally it was just on my face it was like one pimple and it progressively became more than one pimple big cyst etc etc and also body acne and it sucks especially the body acne since i am someone who partakes in fitness and my acne has made it to the point where i just don't want to work out because there's no point right you have this canvas that you're carving with your hard work and it basically is ruined by the acne and the scars that come with it. Now, obviously, there's nothing wrong with having acne or the scars. You're beautiful no matter what, your acne doesn't define you. And that is something that I tell myself every day. But it does get to me sometimes. And it, it gets so bad to like, I don't wanna look in the mirror because I'm afraid of seeing another pimple or a big breakout. And I've tried everything, changing my diet, uh, adopting a skincare routine, changing the bed sheets, changing the pillow sheets, etc. And it doesn't do anything. Uh, my skin is just crazy sensitive. Anything could set anything it off. Anything could set it off. I've even could, like basically stopped drinking pop and shit. Like, it doesn't care. I can do everything right, still wake up with a pimple. It is infuriating, bro. And, and it's just, it's mentally tiring because it, it just fucks with your confidence hard. I feel like anybody who deals with acne can understand what I'm saying here. It fucks with your confidence hard, bro. Especially when you a, a fond motherfucker like me, bro. It can fuck up your entire vibe. Which is why now I'm currently on Accutane. Uh, I am on, basically, I'm done with week one and now I'm basically on week two. And in terms of the amount of dosage I'm having, it's 30 milligrams, which honestly isn't the lowest. The lowest I've seen is like 20 milligrams. And it's definitely not the highest. Highest like 40, 50. And I mean, some seen some people to like 60 to 90 milligrams. Like it, it, it's wild, you know? And honestly, what I would recommend for anyone who's curious about it, look out all your other options. Cause some people don't need Accutane. Some people just need like a diet change, change your bed sheets, change your pillow sheets, adopt the skincare routine, shit like that. You don't need to go on Accutane. And your doctor and dermatologist will tell you this also. And the reason why you get these warnings, right? And it's just like, oh, whatever. It's because Accutane comes with, with risk. And the side effects you would be experiencing on Accutane is definitely, it, it, it's it, it's going to put you through the ringer. You're going to experience dryness. The uh, severity of these side effects vary from person to person. And it also varies on the amount of dosage that you're having. So, you know, maybe you're taking like two pills a day. Maybe you're taking one pill a day. I'm taking one pill. So, obviously how i might be affected by it will be different than maybe how you might be affected by it so in terms of that maybe don't compare yourself to other people because everyone's different but um i gotta give a complete rundown on these my doctor and dermatologist literally explained everything to me and they also give you a pamphlet that explains everything it's really not a crazy complicated process to actually uh get on the process of accutane the most difficult part for me was actually getting the actual like per, like the pills because I had to go through this entire process of checking my insurance company, uh, getting my eye pledge stuff all together. Your eye pledge is basically what's gonna be uh, used to one get your consent because because of all the side effects and risks that come with it, they need you to say yeah I'm cool with this, I'm aware of this, uh, and I understand all everything that come with it. I'm, I'm assuming so that you don't sue the ass right if something terrible happens. And um, yeah, that was most difficult part for me actually like getting the pills but once you get it it's really easy you just have to check in with them every month this also makes really the fear of uh maybe permanently damaging yourself since uh one of like the big big things that could happen is like liver failure because they're obviously gonna check in on you if they see anything if you're wrong they're gonna stop it right there you know and if they can't continue they just say we can't do it anymore because you're just gonna end up like permanently hurting yourself or you say okay we think we can do this and you know you continue and it, it you know you're gonna be fine so you know in, in terms of like is it really scary or crazy it kind of depends on how badly do you want your acne going right uh, how much is it really fucking with you uh and if it really isn't then it's definitely not gonna be worth it if it is and you want it gone and you're just tired of it 
the side effects honestly you won't even care about like you won't you're gonna be like yeah i get clear fucking skin i want that and that's what i want i want clear fucking skin because the nigga trying to look good the nigga trying to take his shirt off and show these fucking muscles and 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 not have it you know not have it with these fucking pimples on it so yeah uh i want to do this like every week updating guys maybe every two weeks i feel like every day it'd be like pointless just nothing really to gain there and also if you guys have any questions in regards to like how i deal with acne what i've maybe done for my uh in terms of like a skincare routine shit like that then you know i make vids answering that if you guys have seen my tiktok i basically shown the day i started basically i think it's like day two or day three and you guys can see that in terms of the acne i'm dealing with right now and basically how i'm feeling for uh week uh day eight this is what my face looks like all right you know there's like some it's like some bumps uh i did so once i started i got like this breakout right here if y'all can see it it's like these little bumps it's like lumps and i had some i had like a pimple here and it's some on my neck right underneath like right here just like that i don't know if y'all can see it for real but yeah and having a breakout is normal while i'm actually saying they're going to tell you this also uh obviously like i said before the severity depends on the person uh, some people might have like a crazy breakout. Some people might have like a whatever breakout, like one or two pimples. You know, uh, some people like it's called like the purging phase. You know, so it's gonna go away. You have nothing to worry about on that case. Like, don't trip about it. It's, it's gonna be cool. Honestly, I don't mind my pimples currently, only because I know I'm actually like I'm gonna get rid of it. It's not gonna keep fucking with me every day. Like, it, I'm not bothered by it anymore now because of this. It, it's honest, like Accutane. It honestly is like I'm happy I got on it. Because it's giving me like this comfort in a sense. So yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night. Uh, see you guys in the next vid. Peace out, Nibbas.